If Peter Piper picked a pack of pickle Pringles, what would he think? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Now listen, I hate to start off on a negative note, but I'm angry about something. People have been pickling food since 2400 BCE, give or take, but it's only been relatively recent that we've started getting pickle flavor on our snacks. What the heck took so long? Is it your fault? Uh, well, no. Who should I yell at? No, not me, man, but I mean, it is happening a lot these days. The getting pummeled with pickle flavor. I, I think that we entered the wrong career. We could have been pickle flavor moguls. Okay, well, at least we have an important role to play in the pickle flavor industry, and that is to find the best pickle flavor snack out there, AKA, which one tastes the most like an actual dang pickle. It's time for Super Snack Flavor Match Pickle Edition. We've got an assortment of pickle flavored snacks, and let me, I, like I said. I'll let you, I, man. I, I think you. that pickle flavor is the new salt and vinegar. It's everywhere. It's on anything. Yeah. We've selected some, oh, you're going to be talking about this <laughs> with your friends oh my later on the day. We're going to rank these on a scale I don't know of where you're going one to this. ten, depending on how much they taste like the real deal. Uh, pickle. Deal. Get it. We'll add up our scores, and the, the snack with the highest score at the end is going to be named Pickle Brian. Of course. Now, before we taste this snack, we got to establish a comparison by tasting an actual pickle. I got a pickle. And I got a pickle. I got a three, actually. And we're going with the classic dill pickle because that's the most common flavor in pickle flavored snacks. Mm. I like to eat my pickles right in the middle. Because I wouldn't have thought that vinegar would be a nice thing to douse on all types of snacks with a little salt. And also, pickling juice is mostly vinegar. So. But it works. Mm. And now we know what a pickle tastes like again. That was a lot juicier than it should have been. Let's bring on the first I apologize. One. Okay, prickles. Prickles. It's Pringles, man. It's Pringles. But I put prick, pickle and Pringle yeah, together. I mean, they, it's a prickle. Prickles is what we're about to eat. <laughs> Pringles has 20 flavors of uh, different flavors. <laughs> so, of course, dill Different pickle flavors of pickle? Now, I. I, I want to pop it open, but you've already got it popped over here, so I won't do that. I'll save this for the crew. Now, these came out in 2018, which surprises me, because I th I would have told you this was at least like a 2019 trend. <laughs> You're, you are you shouldn't just, what you think about numbers You're going to be talking about this shouldn't with your friends. Something you ever bring Later, up. and that's, my, that's something they're going to say to their friends, is, you know, that the, the pickle craze started, I mean, at, at the latest 2018. Um, I mean, there's been pickle-flavored... Pickle flavored chips since 2010. I mean, that's I, that's where I'm going on, on the limit saying mm. that. That's good. It still tastes like a Pringle. It's now. good. You don't have to like pickles to like pickle flavored things. The Pringles website um, gives you a chance to offer reviews. <laughs> and Eggman 1010 did offer his review of this particular flavor and said, four stars out of five, no pickle in 10. I bought this product. It was very good. However, there was no pickle in the 10. Still four stars though. There's no pickle in a tin, guys. You'd be talking about this later. I don't know if it would. I would know it was pickle if I wasn't eating it. And yeah, looking at it. it's kind of mild. I'm, I'm gonna give Five. it a three. That's a total of seven. That's a total of eight. Oh. Okay, we're gonna mix tart and sweet. We're gonna mix cotton candy and pickle flavor, and we're not gonna ask why. Right. We're just gonna ask how, if, maybe who, who. Oh, I think I know who. Happy cotton candy day, daddies. Hey, Randy, how you doing? Hi, I brought you some pickle flavored cotton candy in this handsome new backpack. Oh, wow. Available in every internet. <laughs> I love the fact that they've got you doing promotions. You got yeah, some spring in your snipes. Nice. Yeah, thanks, it's this handsome new backpack. It's making me feel like a real movie star. I'm wearing it over one shoulder like one of the cool kids. Yeah, I yeah. see that. Did the cool kids at your school do that? Um, it's mostly yeah. roller bags at our school. That maybe 20 years ago, yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Before we eat the candy, do you want to hear a sweet nothing? Oh, well, of course I do. I found those missing neighborhood cats, and I'm storing them in a bin. <laughs> Thanks for that. I appreciate that. One of these days, I'm going to sit you down and make you appreciate the Star Wars prequels. <laughs> it doesn't sound quite as fun when, Look, you, when just you say it. Gently Look place at this, stuff. this pickle cotton candy down. Yeah. Oh, you got one of your own. Okay, yeah, you can hang out. 
Um, pickle cotton candy. Uh, it says dill on the back, but not on the front. There's sugar, silicone dioxide, blue number one, and yellow number five. That's it. Mm. it there's some there's some settling that's happened. Mm. Brandy, you made oh gosh a nasty. Yeah. You made a you had a reaction. Yeah, man. It's awful. I like to be positive about all cotton candy, you know. Oh my but gosh. dang, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. Rah. I mean, that is awful. But I kind of want more of that. This is made by the chocolate something or other. Oh company. gosh, chocolate uh, storybook. A second and a half into this, something really significant happens. Yeah, like you discover your purpose in life. My purpose in life is not to try that again. I tried it twice. I'm having trouble getting most dill out of this thing. I feel like I've licked a squid and not in a good way. I'm yeah. telling you, man. Yeah, this We're might in total not be agreement. Safe. So I'm I'm gonna give this a one. Well, I'm trying to evaluate. It's not about it, how good it is. Does it taste like dill? And right. I can't taste any dill. Uh, but just, you know, because they tried, I will give it a one as well. Mm. That is a total of two. You know what? I recently learned the phrase quickle, which is uh, a quick pickle. What'd you learn? Uh, you can make the pickles really quickly. It's the thing you can do. Oh, I learned it on the Mythical Kitchen. Chef Josh said yeah, it. Right. Uh, you can learn all sorts of things by watching the Mythical Kitchen channel. New episodes every Tuesday and Thursday. Do it. Now, you know when you, you're eating pickles, you get rid of the last pickle and you just got the pickle juice. Some people, me being one of them, have been tempted to actually just drink the pickle juice and it's pretty good. But people up until this point have been slow to incorporate that into a product, except for Grandpa Joe. Yeah, because it's not, at Grandpa Joe's. it's not sugary and carbonated. I've made uh, old-fashioned soda pop, pickle pop. Now, this is this is going to run you eight fifty a bottle. Now, that is a lot for a bottle of something that's especially is flavored like pickles. Well, we, but we bought a two-pack. Maybe you get more of a discount if you uh, do higher quantities. Okay. Pop that open. Now, now there's absolutely no artificial coloring in this. this is of course just, not. This is just how green pickles are. Made in Pittsburgh. Shout out to the Pittsburgh, y'all. And a review in Cosmo said the flavor is spot on. That's not the only spot that they talk about in Cosmo. Do you know there's no green? <laughs> Ooh, good gosh, that is not good. Horrible, but pickly. Yeah, it is. They, they got they got the pickle flavor. I don't know if I would if I would call it spot on. Well, but, I mean, they want it to still be sugary and carbonated, so that it is soda. Did you read the whole article? Did you find the spot? Um, because why do they have to keep writing articles about it? Is it really that hard to find? It mo I think it moves. So every issue, like, this is where <laughs> yeah. it is now. Every month it moves. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a good marketing strategy. Low sodium, caffeine free. I'm trying to come up with some positives. There's oh, two. I, I want to like this. I don't like it. But again, but that's it, not what we're testing. It's very well spot on. I'd say it's a Eight. six. Oh, that's a total of uh, 14. Nothing makes me hungrier than crackled up pork skin. Mm. The actual skin off of a pig fried till it like crackles. Let's not be so explicit. But you know what? What makes me even hungrier is if it's dill pickle flavored. This is from Pork King Good, get it? Pork King Good. Pork King Good? Okay. Uh, Link, there's eight grams of protein in a serving, which is half an ounce, but I want you to understand something. This is not a significant source of protein. Okay, so be it. That makes me feel weird. But is it a significant pickle experience? I'm it's not coming strong with the classic pork, pork rind flavor. Where's the pickle? They're tasty, but where's the pickle? Where's the flavor? pickle? Maybe it's a game of finding the pickle. They maybe, talk about that in Cosmos sometimes too. May, <laughs> maybe it's all on one, and we just have to find the one. Yeah. Is it easier to find the spot or the pickle? I don't taste depends, any pickle. It's from person to person. It's a different thing. This is very good. This is the best tasting one so far, but no pickle taste too. I mean, I, I, I can taste n nothing that approximates pickle. Zero. Two plus zero is two. two. Every once in a while, the stars align. Link, I want to point out a few things. Yes. You have a Slim Jim in your hand. Yes. You have... Randy Macho Man uh, Savage what? meets 
Cotton Candy Randy on my shirt. On your shirt. Yeah. Cotton Candy Randy was here earlier. Yeah, he's in our midst. Randy Savage encouraged people to snap into a Slim Jim. We can retire now. It's time to do that. And uh, we spent a whopping $1.88 for each of these sticks. Uh, and Joshua Kelly Beck left a review on Amazon that said, these delicious dilly vinegary precious packages of mechanically separated animal bits are proof that there is a higher power and it is kind. <laughs> okay. All that's, right, that's that's quite a promise. Hope. How did you how do you snap into the Slim Jim? Because oh, it's a peel. It's more of a peel. I could just split this one with you. I'm not planning on eating the whole thing. Uh, yeah, here. Just here, grab that side and you just gotta pull hard. And but snap. It's not pull into a Slim Jim. Well, it, it, well it, technically it is. S snap into a Slim Jim. It happened a lot easier. I think yeah, I could just break one off with the power of the person. Yeah, you can, look at that. Oh, the power of the person. Very Slim Jimmy. <clears throat> That's a compliment that you give to your stepdad. But hold on. <laughs> Very Slim Jimmy. <laughs> I used to have a stepdad. Name his Jimmy. name was Jimmy. He's no longer my stepdad, but his name is still Jimmy. I heard from uh, a friend of a friend that they saw him at the uh, Harnett County Airport. Harnett County Airport. Yeah, it's like, I'm glad to, glad to know he's still uh, around planes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving this. It's good for a Slim Jim. I am tasting dill, but I'm not tasting pickle, I'm tasting more dill. Okay, there is that aftertaste. It says, with dill pickle seasoning. I like it better than a normal Slim Jim. It's got like a whole other sour level to it. That's that, real good. So I really love it, but on a pickle scale, I'm still in like a, well, you know what, I'm gonna give it a six because it would it really starts to grow on you. I'm getting a dill, not so much a pickle, but it's so tasty, I'm gonna agree with you on this. Six, six times six. It's 36, but if we were gonna add them, which we probably should. Divided by three is? Well. Okay, pickles and ice cream are the butt of every pregnancy craving joke, uh, but are the combinations actually good in an ice cream? Night Foods Pickles for Two Ice Cream says yes, and it also says, hey, we have ingredients that give you a better night's sleep. Like? Which is interesting. Uh, magnesium, zinc, and calcium, and then it's got casein, protein, and pre prebiotic fiber. It's all in there, Link, and it's, in, and it's for sharing. And it's less sugar, fewer calories, high in vitamin B, digestive enzymes. Okay, so they're basically trying to make me feel good about eating ice cream. Right before I go to bed, which I like that idea. But you have to eat it. Think it? With your friend. Think it. Who's my friend? Me. Mm. This is weird and good. Kind of makes me want to get pregnant. <laughs> it's not overpowering, but when you locate it, you can stay there. You can stay in that happy pickle place. This is the only ice cream endorsed by the American Pregnancy Association. Because they're the only ones that ask. <laughs> this is so good, though. I like the little the savory mix with the mix with the sweet. I agree. It's good. It's it's surprising. It's gimmicky. It's not a sponsor, but it is subtle. It's got a it, the aftertaste on this one. It, it leaves you with, I just had a pickle. Unlike a lot of the other ones. They don't want to try too hard. I respect that. But I'm giving I this a seven. This is the best one for me so far. I can only give it a five. So that's a 12. All right, lastly, we've got Trader Joe's popcorn in a pickle. Mm -hmm. According to the bag, it's boldly flavored popcorn with a bite and tang of dill pickles. Let's see if it's got that bite and tang, Link. Hopes are high for this. I've had the Trader Joe's Pickleized kettle chips. Those are good. Christy loves them. Because she loves the salt and vinegar, and I think that this the pickle chips oh. are replacing it. Why do you think it's gonna get it's gonna replace it? It's not that's not gonna happen. There's room in the world for both dill and salt and vinegar. We try to we try to Don't worry. the number of chips in the house at once. Oh, it's replacing it in your home. Yeah. I thought you meant like in the world. <laughs> we don't have like, that no, the, the, the aisle's pretty big. This was introduced in 2015, which puts the pickle craze back even earlier than I thought, which was earlier than I thought. This pickle when flavor. When I thought earlier. This pickle flavor is so intense. It does have the bite and the tang. Who's biting whose tang? Mm. 
I'd like to be Tang. Okay. I'm not going to bite you. This is good. Um, man, this it's is not so weird. Good. Nothing's weird about this. Everybody's having a good time. Pickle flavor is in a new stratosphere for me personally. Like, yeah. it's, it, it's not a weird, like, like, they captured it perfectly. Yeah. What's the secret? Did they write the secret on the back? Store in a cool, dry place. There you have yeah, it. Yeah, that's what you got to do. All right, I'm giving this a strong... Mm. Okay, I'm going to give it a nine. Screw it. Um, I was going to say eight, but it doesn't matter at this point because it definitely won. I'm going to give it a nine as well oh. for a total of 18. So there you have it. Officially, the pickle is pickle snack. Popcorn and a pickle from Trader Joe's Popcorn. Uh, Let's get the pickle the Brian. Pickle Brian sticker. Where's that? Happy Dill Day, Daddies. I'm Pickle Brian, a different guy. No, that, that's not how this works. Yeah, you were you were just supposed to bring that out and hand it to us, not, no. not wear it. Yeah. Sorry. How about that? <laughs> Congratulations, Trader I think we Joe. Just, just disappointed. We've just pickled your Brian. We're gonna have to apologize to well, him. Well, he, did, you know, he he's he misunderstood he's, the assignment. He's getting a little too working his liberties here okay. too much. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Molly. And I'm Grace. I'm from Sydney. And I'm from Melbourne. We met on Twitter through Red and Link. And I'm getting married. And I'm the witness. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Congratulations. I love that connection and being a witness. Being a witness. Click the top link to watch us match the GMM crew member with the time they found themselves in a terrible pickle. Get it? Inca Mythical more. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. All right, so uh, this is a spam. Well, this is a bounce test. This is how you tell if your spam worked. Worked. <laughs>